All right. I suppose so. Will I uh, have the day with him? Mm. Well, how, how many people is he testing? How many, Jeff? Not many. Ten, twelve. You want me to go on a cattle call? Now, sweetie, don't look at it that way. No? Well, how am I supposed to look at it? You're the one that helped me to leave the show because you told me that picture was guaranteed, that I was set. <laughs> That's not quite what I said. And that it was a great career move. Did you say that, too? Well, you know. <laughs> I know that you are a creepy little snake that lied. And there is no way that I am going out there to test. You know, everybody's right. Everybody. You are a difficult little bitch to work with. You don't know the meaning of the word yet. Now get out of here. That's the way to go, Swillin. Tell that slime ball off. <laughs> He wants Jackie Bissett anyway. I knew it. Just gonna hit the bottle. Never could take a setback. You were the one who pushed her over the edge. No, no, she's weak. She had no guts when I married her. She came out of it all right, didn't she? Yeah. That's because I gave her the strength, that's why. Yeah, maybe she had her own strength. <laughs> Who is it? Nobody important, just your husband. She's married. Disappointed? Wait. Hi. Oh, am I glad to see you. Who are you? Oh, I can't be. It's Nick Pierce. He died when he fell off the balcony. Dummy, dummy, dummy. He never met you. He moved to New York instead of Dallas. He's alive and well. Look. I don't want to. I don't want to. Hmm. Well, that was some little kiss. Maybe I should lock the door, huh? No. I think I can wait until tonight. Oh. Well. <laughs> These look much better before I walked in. They're beautiful. Thank you. Well, don't tell me somebody's beating my time. Oh. My wonderful uh, ex-agent brought them to me. Ex-agent? Mm. That sounds ominous. What happened? That uh, film you promised? Mm-hmm. It's a crock. A crock. <laughs> That's nice. That's sympathy. No, no, it's funny. Why? Uh, because I took six months' leave of absence to be out there with you. You didn't. Yes, I did. And now I'm a failure. Are you disappointed in me? Disappointed? Sweetheart, I am the happiest man in the world. I was sick and tired of you getting up every morning, 4 o'clock, and coming to this dumb studio. You know, to be really honest, I, uh, I didn't want you to do that film. Why didn't you say anything? Because I knew you wanted it. And whatever makes you happy, it makes me happy. That's why. Why don't we go home and make each other happy? Right now? Just in my home. I don't believe it. That she was happy without ever having met you? We had something she'd never had with any other man. That's right. Misery, pain. And good times. <laughs> You have the world's worst memory. Sue Ellen was obviously going to be all right whether J.R. Ewing existed or not. <laughs>